Gemini, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm your host, Tina, and welcome to my channel. So today we will be doing your upcoming weekly tarot. It will be from March 29th to April 4th. If you are new and it is your first time, I do pull two layers. I'm going to get straight into your reading. Pull the first layer now. All right, this is for Gemini. March 29th to April 4th for Gemini, please. Okay, all right, let's calm it down. Gemini. Let's stop here. Four of Cups is at the bottom. I wanted to say dissatisfaction. But you know what? The sun came out. The sun. Wow. Okay, Gemini. All right, I don't know. It's like there's a partnership here that means so much, brings you so much joy, but at the same time, it's like testing you this week. Um, recent past, we have the Two of Cups. Overall energy is the Ace of Cups. I don't know. We're letting the emotions flow. I think there's a partnership here that does have a lot of potential, has a lot of potential. Um, you know, you could see a future together. You could probably see the harmony, see the shared values, see how this can grow right now, wanting to open up our hearts, maybe wanting to show up in this partnership in a new way, right? But there's 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 emotions coming through and there's a desire to let them flow. Like really like open your heart and let it out, let it pour out type of energy. Um, there's self-love, there's loving the other person, there's meeting them halfway. So really great energy. We have the sun here as a situation as well. So it's like feeling really happy, feeling really good, like a kid again, like, like you could just feel the newness of the day, you know what I mean? Um, like you don't feel like every day is like the other days and you're just in this like endless cycle. Um, it's like, or having a desire for that feeling, right? Having a desire for that fun and that kid-like joy again. In the challenge position, we have the queen of wands. For me, it's just about kind of remaining cool, remaining cool and, you know, Staying connected to your spiritual side, you know? Not overwhelmed by it or anything. She's a social butterfly, the queen of wands, but she never loses sight of her spiritual side through all of it, you know, as indicated by that black cat. So I love that. Where your mind is at and what you're focused on, it's like you, you want to bring things into alignment. Um, you don't want things pulled in different directions. You want to find a way to make them work together and blend together whether it's the emotions within yourself or in this situation, the chariots on your mind, right? There's a sense of like victory and a determination. And I feel like you got this laser focus, Gemini, and there's, there's nothing that's going to like move you from wherever your, your target is, right? That's where you're at right now. That's determined. There's like a sense of achievement or success on your mind or victory or wanting to overcome something or just pushing towards something. And then that being said, you got that fighter energy. Your approach is the nine of wands. So you got courage in your heart and you're still fighting and you got that warrior spirit. Although it's like a wounded warrior and you are tired and it does feel like a test of faith. In your environment, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Here we got the hermit. But this is deep soul searching and, and it could just be about like what this relationship, this partnership, what it can have, what it can be, what it can become. Will it make you happy? Is it all that you'd ever hoped for? Coming towards you, we have the Knight of Swords. Can be an air sign here, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Sometimes this is my like, it's definitely a headstrong energy. Like whoever comes in is charging in. They're taking action really fast. They might not be thinking it through everything they're saying. Um, good intentions, good intentions, but like a little too fast acting. Um, maybe like a slower approach would be nicer. But let's go in. Oh, what's at the bottom here? the sun all right let's go in and clarify all of these for you um all right for gemini let's clarify please for gemini so asking yourself deep questions about some partnership here and wanting to let the emotions out and flow All right, for Gemini. Ooh. Let's stop here. Now ah, the world is at the bottom. 
That's also a sense of achievement here. And so some of you could really have that on your mind. Um, yeah, even Ten of Pentacles came out, you know. Recent past, we have the Page of Wands and the Two of Cups. And I don't know, I feel like maybe you guys are starting to look at new horizons when it comes to your partnerships and who you partner up with here, Gemini. Um, or there's a new partnership here and you're really seeing the potential. This is the recent past. Either you're starting to look outside of the types of partnerships you've been in and you're really, again, starting to explore new horizons or there's somebody here, a uh, particular partnership that's got your mind really entertaining its um, potential where it can grow what can happen from here like you're really kind of excited pretty inspired here and now the overall energy is the ace of cups with the eight of cups and so i think you're going after something here that you feel is missing i mean i think it's just that simple something's missing here and you are going after it um, ace of cups is here I think you're open with your heart. I think you're open and honest about what you're feeling, even if it's just with yourself. But you have the Eight of Cups, and so it's a feeling of like, you know, unhappy, dissatisfied, saying like, hey, I think something's missing. I think I, I think I need to go after something else or something more here. And literally what's missing is a cup, and we got the Ace of Cups here. So I think you're going after something that's missing this week. But it requires you, it feels like, to walk away from something else, right? Something that you've already poured a lot of energy into that's meant a lot to you, that also brought you a lot of satisfaction for some time. But like now it's like, it's like, man, is it is it time to move in a new direction? And I do, I do think you, you got a lot of movement on your mind, right? So I feel like that's without a doubt here. Um, that's without a doubt here. Current situation, current energies, we have the sun and the ten of pentacles. So, how are you going to bring about this happiness? Where are you going to invest your energy for the long term? All right, that's the ten of pentacles. Saying, hey, I'm thinking about the big picture. I'm thinking about where I should put all of my time, my energy, my resources, because I want it to pay off for the big picture. And I want the things that feel really good with me, that make me feel really good as well. And not in a superficial way, but like kind of the things that are aligned with you in that sense. In the challenge position, we have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Maybe feeling like you don't have the willpower right now. You know, just saying like, hey, let me get inspired. Let me get excited. I have what it takes. I can do this. Let me show up for it. And so just like kind of trying to keep the spark lit right within yourself. But nonetheless, where your mind's at and what you're focused on here is change, 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 change and movement. The chariot and the wheel of fortune. Expansion, growth abundance you know that's that's the wheel of fortune it's ruled by jupiter here and you got the chariot right you're focused you're determined on changing your fate changing your destiny what was down for it to come back up how are you going to turn that wheel and you're it's like you're taking fate and destiny into your own hands you're saying to yourself gemini with the chariot i am master of my own destiny i will determine my future i'm the author of this story and so, like I said, there's a hunger within you right now. Wherever you're going, I do not stand in your way, right? You're focused. You're determined. You know you got to align yourself. And you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, even if it's like walking away from a certain situation, you're also saying to yourself, like, hey, it is what it is. You know, it, some forces are just universal and they're out of our control, right? And that's, that's the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like both you're taking fate and destiny into your own hands, but you're also saying there are certain things that are out of your hands and it is what it is. And you let the wheel turn because you know changes are here. You, you no doubt know changes are here. Your approach now is the nine of wands with the king of pentacles. I think you're still very committed. I think you're still very dedicated. And I think that's why you're still fighting for something. But um, it is starting to feel like a test of faith. And I think... You're asking yourself, do you keep fighting for it? Do you keep, again, investing your energy into certain places? Only you know those answers, but I know that it's like I know those questions, you know the answers. Um, in your environment, soul searching, right? Um, we got the Six of Swords and the Hermit. You, you're getting control of your thoughts. If your thoughts have been running a little bit out of hand, a little wild, 
especially with the hermit ruled by Virgo, ruled by analytical thought, it's time to decompress those thoughts, right? To make sense of them, to make them connect so they're not all over the place, they're not taking over your mind. Um, but you might feel like it's time to like detach yourself, even emotionally, from a situation here in your environment with that Six of Swords. Like, yeah, maybe you might feel like you need physical space, no doubt, with the Six of Swords, but this is even detaching yourself emotionally, saying it's time to move on, it's time to transition. Again, movement, change, and transition, you know it. It's showing up repeatedly in your spread here, so I feel like you just know it at this point, or you're doing the soul searching to figure out where do you go next, how do you make this transition, um, is it time to detach yourself again emotionally a little bit? Um, and you only do that by going deep within, deep dive within here with the hermit, asking yourself questions, looking for the answers, looking for the guidance, looking for the light within. And you've already come a long way with the hermit. That's why he's dressed. That's why he's an old man and has gray hair. It's to definitely indicate the long journey you're already coming from. But this is a time to pause and to reflect. Coming towards you, we have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, but they're like kind of looking in opposite directions. It almost feels like two different people, two different approaches. It can be an Earth sign. We have like six different people here. It can be an Air sign, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, these are nonetheless, though, they are cards about taking action and making progress. So whatever it is that's coming towards you is going to provide you with an opportunity to kind of keep things moving along, no matter if it comes out a little headstrong, no matter if it comes out a little bit too slow moving, a little bit unbending with the Knight of Pentacles, no matter how it approach, approaches you, it is an opportunity to make progress and to kind of keep things moving along. Um, but yeah, changes are here, no doubt. And only once you go within will you figure out what's the next move, where do you take it from here? Okay. I'm going to leave it there for you. Um, I do hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped in any kind of way. If you did like it, then hit like, hit subscribe. As always, thank you, and I will see you all next week.